Hellos, this is Aroma here, and welcome back to Trouble Comes Twice. We are here with Zoe going to the mall. This music is really adorable that we're listening to. I hope you guys can hear it. Let me turn up a little bit. Anyhow, let's continue. Just wait till you see it. She puffs out her chest proudly. It's proof I'm an artistic genius. Sounds like you're staying humble, too. She dramatically flips her long curls over her shoulder before facing me with a confident smirk. I try. We share a brief laugh, picking up our pace. It's starting to get colder even during the day. When Zoe speaks up again, her face is uncharacteristically serious. I automatically fear the worst, my expression mirroring hers. Anyway, the real reason I brought you here is because I'm in the middle of a severe fashion emergency. Oh, how dreadful. She pouts. Are you teasing me? Because I feel like you are. I frown, knitting my brows together. Do you even know me? I, ne <laughs> I never joke about a fashion emergency. It generally is a disaster. So he breaks into a relieved smile. Thank you. No one else gets it. As he strolls into the mall, Zoe quickly fills me in on the reason for her insistence to come here. Which is a party, of course. It's always a party. I don't know why you're making such a big deal over a bunch of chads and brads. What's so great about them? Zoe's quirks a brow. Nothing really. Then why? They throw great parties, and I like great parties. So she wants to be invited again, right? Especially parties that feature hot Veronicas and pretty Bettys. Oh, Zoe does roll that way. Right. How dare I let that slip my mind? I sigh, turning my head away from her. So he swings an arm around my shoulder, pulling me closer to her. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, I haven't heard that line in so long. I'm not judging you. Good. Because while I hold nothing but total respect towards your love for your waifus and husbandos, I still need the real thing. Whoa, whoa, tact. As I have an IRL boyfriend anyway, but I still have many husbandos. <laughs> To be honest with you, I feel like it's an age since I last dated anyone properly. I'm getting pretty bored. I nod absentmindedly. It's not that I'm not listening. It's more so that I'm listening too intensely. Anyone who's ever met Zoe knows more than well enough that she doesn't need a new outfit to charm anyone. She's gorgeous enough on her own. She simply enjoys the attention, which is fine, I guess. I'm not all that different, so it'd be hypocritical for me to judge her for that. It's just a little difficult sharing her with everyone else all the time. She's my closest friend, but often I feel like I'm exchangeable for her. Oh wait, that's sad. When I first met Zoe, I had, a mixed I had mixed feelings about her. I'm always like this with pretty girls. I don't know if I like them or envy them. Though it didn't take long for me to realize I liked Zoe. I mean, it was pretty obvious from how- Wait, you like like? I need clarification, because your girl is kind of- stupid sometimes and i need to be clarified that that's a like like and not just like <laughs> it was pretty obvious from how i would always get tongue-tied around her and blush like an idiot whenever she mentioned my name okay you like like her with emphasis on liked by the way i don't like her anymore wait 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 i just now realized that I told you i'm stupid now we're just friends and i'm cool with that we're great friends so zoe isn't it zoe could still technically be it Super cool friends. We could totally fall in love with her again. Purely platonic. Hazel, the way you're telling me this, I feel like you're lying. For the record, though, it's sort of your fault I haven't dated lately. My fault. My heart stops. How is it my fault? Oh, look. You still have feelings. What? You can't tell. My brows instinctively furrow. I just asked you, so obviously I can't. My voice is dying. <laughs> Zoe barks out a laugh, pinching my cheeks. My bad, my grumpy queen. I'll spell it out for you. She pulls her arms. In case you haven't noticed, almost everyone is intimidated by your alpha bitch nature. <laughs> and since I'm glued to your side all day, neither of us get approached. Well, I mean, my girl kind of does have that aura right here. But you said you liked my demeanor. Yeah, but it's not going to get me laid. <laughs> I chew on my lip, hoping she doesn't notice a smirk threatening to break out. In that case, I should keep it up. What? No, you can't punish her, Hazel. The next two hours consist of Zoe dragging me from one store to another. She has a pretty short attention span. Me. If a, if a clothing item is not calling for me, I'm out. Like, literally, I will zoom around the store one minute and out. <laughs> one second, she's trying on dresses at one of her favorite clothing stores, and in the next, we're in the occult shop debating if $100 is a reasonable price for a candle. What in the fuck? There's a candle I've been looking at that's like 70 or $80, but I really think it's just because of the designer brand name. I'll post the photo here, because I don't remember the candle's name. 
I just know what it looks like. And you guys probably have seen it before too. And it's a small size for like 60 or 70 or 80 dollars. And that's ridiculous. Like, is it the best candle on the earth? I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, because of the name brand. <laughs> Naturally, I voted no. What a scam. It is a scam. Make your own candles. Ugh, I'm beat. Let's rest. So he yawns and plops down on a random bench. She looks ready to, re ready, ready to pass out any second. Did she buy anything yet? We didn't even find you. Oh, God. I Anyway, I love it when I ask a question in a game or movie or anime or whatever the heck I'm doing. Answers it for me after. We didn't even find you an outfit yet. So? I'm tired. I give up. She whines quietly. Sit next to her. Sorry, but I don't think so. You see, I fear I don't associate with quitters. Well, now you do. Friendship can get friendship canceled then. So he pouts. Really? Really? She groans, resting her head on my shoulder. Fine, I'll keep looking. Just let me rest my feet for a little while. My instinct is to tell her to get up and keep going, but I betray it. I'm a selfish girl, okay? I'm not going to refuse an opportunity to cuddle with someone cute. Unfortunately, Zoe quickly leans away from me. I turn to face her, wondering what's on her mind, only to find her looking at someone else. Ellie? Is that you? She grins, instantly perking up. Zoe! Zoe runs up to Ellie, or whatever her name is, and brings her into a tight hug. I try to ignore the ugly feeling growing inside my stomach. But Hazel, I thought you said you didn't like her anymore. Friends don't, like, act like this overprotectively to their friends if they, they don't have feelings. You don't have to look like, look that excited. Hazel, I think you still like Zoe. <laughs> I resist the urge to roll my eyes, standing up as well. I approach them with a tight smile. Who's your friend, Zoe? Zoe releases Ellie from her death grip, turning to look at me. Oh, just this girl I met at this party the other month. But she turns to face Ellie again. Were you switching unis? Unis? University? <laughs> I'm taking a gap year for now. I'm just back for the weekend to visit a couple of friends. But not me, huh? Ellie giggles, delivering a playful punch to her shoulder. Hey, it's your fault we never exchanged numbers. They continue to chat excitedly among themselves. I try to keep a straight face, but I can feel my mood progressively worsen. It appears my efforts to keep my face emotionless have failed because Ellie soon turns to look at me. So who's this? Your girlfriend? I look at Zoe expe expectantly. She snorts. Nah, Sally, Hazel Sanders are so high that not even Aphrodite could win her heart. Now that's a slight exaggeration. You say that, but then you've refused literal models who've asked you out. I have? <laughs> looks may looks maybe what entices me, but they're not everything. I'm not going to date someone who likes to kick puppies for fun just because they've got abs. Yo, fuck that person. Care carefree. We pick we bicker back and forth until Ellie's laughter cuts through the conversation. Girlfriends or not, I think you'd make a cute couple. Why'd you assume that? Why can't we just be great friends, huh? <laughs> I clear my throat over to my gaze. She's not wrong, though. Hazel! You say you didn't like Zoe! <laughs> hmm, maybe. Zoe playfully winks at me. Though Hazel has to put, a, put in a lot of grunt work after all the trauma she's put me through. What? What did I do? I raise a brow at her suspicious comment. What trauma? Don't even get me started. I'm getting war flashbacks just thinking about it. You're such a drama queen. But you love it. <laughs> Technically, Hazel does. So he tries to flick my nose, but I catch her hand this time, intertwining her fingers. I'm not going to fall for that twice. What about the third time? She quickly lifts her other hand, but I'm still faster interrupting her attempt. She tries to whine, but she can't hold back her chuckles. You're such a bitch. <laughs> but you love it. I mock her sing-song voice, and she rolls her eyes. Well, now I definitely feel like the third wheel. Like a third wheel. Feeling a little sheepish, I let go of Zoe's hands. Sorry, Hazel is super clingy. No worries, all young couples are. We're not a... Let her think what she wants. <laughs> I quickly cut in. Zoe raises a brow at me, but doesn't protest. Oh, I see how it is. It's like a friends with benefits arrangement, right? I forgot that thing exists. I cough. Excuse me? Zoe laughs. Yeah, that's impossible. Hazy is basically Virgin Mary. So unless you're referring to how she'll affectionately pat my head and mock me for being like five centimeters shorter than her once upon a blue moon? I don't think so. I nod quickly agreeing with Zoe. Now, I think Hazel's head might explode if you keep this up. I stop nodding. She's a really big fan of exagger exaggerations, isn't she? Ellie wrinkles her nose and giggles. Fine, fine, I'll stop teasing you. And I'll get out of your hair too. Just give me your number first before I forget. 
All right, give me your phone and I'll type it in. After exchanging numbers with Zoe, Ellie bids us goodbye and leaves. Zoe sits down on the bench again. He's still tired. Zoe nods, gesturing for me to sit next to her. Be my pillow, just a little longer, and then we'll keep walking. I sigh, but it doesn't take any extra convincing to persuade me. Maybe I do like her a little bit more than I want to admit. Yeah, Hazel. Admit to your feelings, damn it. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you for playing the demo? Wait, okay. Now I can go pick another person. <laughs> if you want to, go ahead and try the other routes if you haven't already. If this is your first run, you can now skip the questionnaire and choose your partner directly after starting again. We hope you enjoyed it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, how many times do I gotta play this game then? Because we gotta play through, um, Jason's route too, right? I'm pretty sure you guys would like to see that. Okay. <laughs> okay, then, well, that's gonna end up in today's episode here. So we can directly pick who we want, which I am gonna directly pick the guy I want. I guess I'll go just play through all of the routes. I don't know if the dialogue is different if I go through Jace's route or not, so I will also look into that. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.